So here we have the question uh, x square plus xy dy equals to x square plus y square dx. So here we can write this equation as dy by dx equals to x square plus y square divided by x square plus xy. So uh, this is our f xy and if you'll check if it's homogeneous or not so we can check it with lambda x putting lambda x lambda y in the place of x and y. So here you'll get lambda square x square plus lambda square y square divided by lambda square x square plus lambda square y square xy so lambda square you can take common so you will get uh, x square plus y square divided by x square plus xy so it is same like fxy so that means it is homogeneous now we will solve this equation so from here you can see we have got dy by dx equals to x square plus y square divided by x square plus xy so here you can see in the numerator and denominator uh, like you have two two terms so you can either take y equals to vx or either you can take x equals to vy so it's your wish so here i'm taking y equals to vx so dy by dx will be equals to v plus x dv over dx and now i'll put these values here so i'll get dy by in the place of dy by dx we can put v plus x dv by dx equals to in the place of y we are putting vx so v square x square divided by x square plus x square v we will get here and then um, here you can take x square common so you'll get 1 plus v square divided by 1 plus v and here we have this thing now in this question it is very important that you have to take this v to that side and then solve it because this is a common mistake which students do in the in the exams that they don't take it here or they don't simplify it so you have to simplify it so here it will be minus v and then after simplification you'll get x dv by dx so that will be equals to 1 plus v square we'll take the lcm here so it will be v into v, 1 plus v divide by 1 plus v now we will simplify this thing so here we'll get x dv by dx equals to 1 plus v square minus v minus v square divided by 1 plus v and v square we can cancel here so we'll get just 1 minus v divided by 1 plus v here we have x dv by dx so now we can separate the x and the v's together so after separating the v we will get here 1 plus v or i'll just take x here and that's this side only so we can get like 1 by x dx will be equals to 1 plus v 1 minus v into dv so this we will get here and then we have to simplify this thing so left side is fine uh, you can solve it easily it will be log x but uh, in the right side uh, it's different we can't integrate it directly so we have to like do something here so i'll just take uh, in the denominator we have one minus v okay so i'm just adding one and subtracting one so that the result will not change and what i'll do here i'll take these two together and i'll take minus common and then you can take it with the, the denominator so this thing can be written as 2 by 1 minus v and then minus i have taken common from the last two and it will become 1 minus v by 1 minus v dv and now we can integrate it so here uh, you know that this will be log x here also we have log x and this will be twice of log 1 minus v here you can see the y is negative so you have to write here negative so this is also a mistake that the students do that they will not write this minus so you have to write this minus as well and then here we have minus this will be one only so you'll just get one v only and now we will add a constant here so that is c so i'm taking log c because everything is coming in log so that's why i accept this one so i have taken log c and now we can simplify it so now we can see only you have this v alone so i'll just take this v to one of the side and i can write this thing as 
log x plus twice of log 1 minus v plus I am taking this that side plus log c. So I am taking this v to the left side. So here log x will become minus log x and all the remaining things will remain same. Here this sign will be negative. So it will be log minus log x minus log uh, of 1 minus v plus log c. And then we can be written as log c. Now you can see here. This thing can be written as c divided by because these two are negative. So we can write it as x and here we have 1 minus v. Here you have a 2 here so it can be written as this. Now you can just put the value of v back. So uh, we took y is equals to vx that means our v will be y by x. So I'll just put the value of v that is y by x and here it will be log of cx and here 1 minus y by x whole square and then you can simplify it so it will be log of c divided by x and here I'll get x minus y whole square and then x square will go here and then again you can a little bit simplify it so you'll get y by x equals to log cx divided by x minus y whole square. So uh, this will be the answer for this question. Or you can a uh, little bit more simplify it because here we have log so you can write this thing as uh, e to the power y by x equals to cx by x minus y whole square. So this will be your final answer. So you can uh, write the either you can write the second last line or the last line. It's the answer.